Adrian, it is almost world's time. We are less than a month away. How are you holding up right now? I'm I'm holding up. Uh, you know, we are just in the gym training super hard, just getting geared up, getting our mindsets right and just recalibrating and getting ready to put on a show for everyone. How have practices been, you know, with the, the last couple of days and you haven't competed since Ultimate Battle. So what has been the practices been like in the mindset of the team? Well, Ultimate Battle was not our best performance. So we had a one of those check-in moments as a team where we just had to really recalibrate and understand that everything happens for a reason and it's the right timing for us to have a moment like that, especially going into worlds where it's so important. So we took that as a lesson and not a loss, and we just really are growing from it. The kids have actually had this week off after Ultimate Battle to really just calm down, let their bodies rest, and now on Friday we're going back into Worlds training officially. Okay, so let's talk about Worlds training. Are there any upgrades? What tweaks are we making? I know the score sheet's different, so how are you kind of balancing all of that right now? Well, I can't tell you too much, but there's definitely some surprises in there for Worlds okay. that people have not seen yet. Um, you know, we just really want to keep it fun, fresh, and if I could say anything, I would say just get ready for the last dance. Oof, can't. Wait, I was watching last year's routine to this year's routine and just looking at, you know, kind of the similarities and the energy and the performance aspect of it. Um, and I never thought y'all could top last year's routine, but this one is just even more fun. Um, what have the two teams been like? I know you have a lot of returners, but how do you compare kind of the two teams and the set of athletes? Um, well, they're actually just so completely different. There's not actually many similarities between the both, except for the heart. Um, that's something that just this team is founded upon and that we take very seriously. Like you have to have the heart to be on the team. Um, they're, they're both hardworking teams. I would say last year's team was just, we didn't know where we were going. Like we were just going, we were doing our thing, we were having fun and it, it paid off. Um, this year's team is very directional. Um, they have intention okay. behind what they want and what they're working for. Um, and it's it's a different dynamic, but and it's challenged me as a coach to coach them differently because last year we were just, let's do it. This year they're like, what are we doing today? How are we doing it? Um, can we set up this? I think we should drill this. I'm like, oh, you guys are into it. I, I love it. It's great. Um, so it's, definitely been a fun year but it's been a different year and you know these kids they work their butts off they're in the gym on off days doing stunt reps and tumbling on their own and breaking things down watching videos over and over again and just making sure that they can't get it wrong i love that Looking back to last year, I was lucky enough to be in the awards hall when you all won. The emotions from you and the athletes was something that like, it gives me chills just thinking about. It was priceless. Looking back on that moment, how surreal was it to be announced as a world champion? It's a moment that I, I really still can't put into words. Um, as you can tell, I'm tearing up thinking about it. <laughs> I, I just, I think it, for me personally, seeing those kids get that moment and there's just so many things going through my head. The kids that I've watched on like different teams have come so close to getting that moment. Kids that we've homegrown in Orlando have that moment. The program being the first Top Gun location other than the main location to win um, the world championships, just so much hard work and so many different avenues that it just i felt just an emotional release at that moment i was like i felt numb i felt weak in my knees i was like i can't believe we just did this like there's so many people that this impacted like beyond just our circle like it was just a moment and then the moment um with Kristen and victor when they came over to us and were congratulating us it's like your mom and dad looking at you saying i'm so proud of you i was like Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Annie and Roger, the same thing, like having them in that circle with us, just the embrace, the emotion, the feeling, like it's something that I could never top. 
You've had such a journey within the Top Gun program from being on TGLC to coaching with Lady Jags and now being a head coach with Rev. Like, what has this program and being a part of Top Gun meant to you? Top Gun is everything to me. Um, I think that's very general to say. I think the best life lessons that I've ever learned have come from these people. Um, from being a 11 year old, 10 year old boy in the gym running around watching routines, like, oh my gosh, I want to do that one day. I want to do that. And being on Yoso, going through the program, graduating, um, doing open for a while, then moving on and trying something different in California. And it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. But, you know, like COVID happened and then had to come home and just finding a different avenue in Top Gun. It's just like home is always where the heart is. And, you know, Top Gun is always a home and it's created a home for so many people and has created lifelong memories and friends and things that you just can't get in the, in the normal world. I would say the cheer industry as a whole provides that for athletes and coaches, but Top Gun has truly done that for me. The, the lessons that every coach that I've been coached by have taught me, I still to this day can be like, well, Coach Victor taught me this, or Coach Jose taught me that, or Greg taught me that, or Krista taught me that, Corey. Like, there's so many people that have taught me so much that I can't even begin to say it was just one thing. I would say the entire experience from when I was a little boy up till now has been by far the most important thing in my life. And how would you compare winning as an athlete at Worlds to winning as a coach? Because it has to be completely different on the emotional like weight of it all. Um, as a athlete, I got very lucky. Um, my first year on, on a Worlds team, I happened to win. So I was, I think I was still like kind of trying to figure out what was going on. I was like, this is cool. I'm like, I like, I like this. And then um, I would say there's different, I would say every single year that I've ever won meant something different. Like it was like, oh, we went through something or we worked so hard or it, just so many different things. Kids on the team that have been working so hard for years. And um, as an athlete, it's nice to feel like your hard work pays off. And, you know, like we preach to <laughs> kids that, the work is worth it. The work is worth it. And that moment when you just feel that all your work has finally come to fruition in front of you. And honestly, the wins that they do matter and they're great, but I've had my best memories with teams that I've lost with. And, you know, those are the teams that the winning teams are also amazing, but I've also just had those moments where I'm like, this was a really great season. This is something I'll never forget. And I don't think any win could have made the season any better. Same thing as a coach. Winning as a coach, it's been, I've personally been gunning for a world championship for five years from sci-fi to SMOED to the two years of revs. It's just been so many obstacles. And, you know, I think, the moment that I, I didn't even care, honestly, when, um, when the performance was done, I didn't care about any accolade. I was like, this is the moment that I have been waiting for for five years. I have waited to feel those kids give their heart and it work out for them. I was like, whatever happens mm -hmm. today, it can happen and I'm going to be a-okay. Like they did, they did their thing. They get a memory that lasts a lifetime now. Like they can go back and watch that video over and over and over and over again and always feel that moment again. That was one of the things that we went into worlds. I would say one of the athletes on the team said it. He said, how do you want your video to be viewed for the next 10 years? How do you want this routine to be seen for the last time? And I was, I looked around, I said, that was really powerful. That, that was a moment that I was like, how do you want that to be seen? I was like, that fired me up to, to work even harder. I'm like, I want you guys to be able to click on this 10 years from now and show it at your wedding and say, look how great we were. Look at this bond. You can feel the emotion. You can see the emotion. I can't watch the video still to this day without even tearing up. So it's, it's still 
a pinnacle moment for us. And I think you can just tell with this team, and you could tell last year as well, just how bad they want it. And for a team that has so many world's veterans that have won on different teams, whether it's Brandon Senior Black or TGLC or Lady Jags, wherever they came from, like most of your, your athletes have, have won something at Worlds before. So to be on this new team and want it just as bad is like really something special to see when they all come together and, and really put on a show. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, it definitely comes down to our culture. Um, we are huge on team bondings and getting closer to each other. And it's about this time of the year where I um, start grouping the kids up and creating energy buddies. And it's your job at their it's your job as their energy buddy if they're having a tough day or check in on them, get to know them. It's usually kids that they don't talk to as much. And you would be surprised, like the things that they found out last year. Like I walked in one day and I saw just orange juice. And I was like, what? Why is there orange juice on the floor? They're like, oh, my energy buddy really loves orange juice before practice. I'm like, Oh, we're get, we're getting deep. Like we're we're getting to know each other. I was like, that is amazing. And then I see people in the corner. Like I know this is really hard for you right now. This is really hard for me too. But if you got me, I got you, and let's do it. And those are the things that I just try to teach them. That like when things can get tough, you have somebody there. You have people there. You have your team there. You have your family. And um, you know our culture just stands very strong, especially with. Our overall gym culture at Top Gun Orlando being gold vibes only. Like we go through five pillars and um, each one is choosing to serve, choosing to persevere, choosing to celebrate. And it's just easy to do those things when you're doing it with people that you love and that support you. I love that. I think that's what's so special about the sport of all-star in general is the what happens that you don't see on the mat on all those little bonds behind the scenes. So real quick, let's chat about NCAA All-Star. Two hit zero routines, but not the outcome. I know that you all were looking for. Talk about that weekend and then kind of how that outcome has like fueled the team moving forward. Yeah, you know, um, the division is a prominent division in All-Star cheer. It's, it's one of the, not the biggest, but one of the best, you know. The, yes. the Wildcats are legendary. Like, there's nothing that one could say about that team that is negative because, one, they're a class act right. always. And, two, they put out amazing cheerleading. So it was definitely – it was tough. It's hard to lose. But when you're up against someone that's just as incredible as you, it takes the blow off a little bit um, to see someone else have their moment. And we were very proud of them, and we're mm -hmm. happy for them to have their moment. Um, for us personally, you know – we don't go into it thinking about what place we're going to get. Um, we think about how we're going to make people feel. Um, so mm -hmm. when we're practicing and we were going through that weekend and a lot of these kids were just excited to, a lot of them have never, unless they've been on a bigger team, have heard an arena sing their music or had that moment walking off the floor, like, oh my gosh, we did it two days in a row. I was like, that's the first in Revelation history. No team in Revelation has hit two days a, a, in a row at NCA. Be proud of yourselves. And, you know, getting top scores still, there was so much to be proud of in that weekend rather than the jacket. Um, so we just chose to focus on those things. But, you know, we did take the score sheet and really dissect it and say, this is where we can be better. We were still good, but we were not great in this moment, okay? Um, and I think that's where we separate ourselves from a, a lot of different avenues of cheer is we don't want to be just good, we want to be great. So um, coming back from NCA, you know, we started to tweak the little things here and there and just really dive into detailing. Like, really, you can tell we, we do detail a lot, but we're even more detailed now, so... Whatever we're going to be doing at Worlds, it will be one to remember. I can't wait. And I love watching a division where there's so many heavy hitters and you really don't know who's going to bring their best that day. Like, <laughs> I think that's the most exciting heading into Worlds. I know last year you talked about a rev zero. So not just a hit zero, but a rev zero. So what does a rev zero look like to you this season? I would say it's still consistent with what it was last year. Um, it's a feeling. It's not just a hit routine. Like sometimes we're in the gym and I'm 
watching and I'm like, we're doing it. It's, it's, it's up and it looks great. I said, but I don't feel it. And I, I know I've talked about it, but the delivery is just everything on that team. It's how are you going to be memorable in that moment for years and time after this? You have to make someone want to watch that again. They want to come back to watch you because of how you made them feel, not because of what you did. So sometimes the mat talk is great. Sometimes the mat talk's not so great. And I think that our communication on the floor is what really sparks a rev zero versus not a rev zero. Got it. And what is your favorite part of this year's routine? Ooh, I love our elite stunt. Um, I do too. It is, it is so good. It's just very fun. It's interactive. And um, as a coach and as a choreographer, stunting is just one of my favorite categories. Um, so I just always strive that our stunt sequence is memorable, uh, that it's fun, that people want to do it. My favorite thing is walking around the competition and seeing little cheerleaders with their tip tock set up and they're marking our son. And I'm like, they want to be you one day. I'm like, well, how are you going to inspire them today when you perform? Like, so those are the moments that mean so much to me beyond any type of accolade. I love that you had the little backbend element in it again this year. I thought that was such a unique part of last year's stunt sequence yeah. and the way that you were able to like incorporate it in a new way, I think made this year so, so cool. And I'm excited to see it on the world's mat. Other than Rev at Worlds, what, and you can't say a Top Gun team, who are you most excited to see on the world's mat? Two Extreme Senior Elite. Yes, I'm excited. I think that division is all over the place, and I'm very excited to see what seniors does I'm this very, year. They've had a great year. I'm really excited for them. I'm excited as well. Okay, we've been talking about feeling. What do you want these athletes to feel when they get off the floor in Worlds this year? I want them to feel proud. Proud of their work, proud of their performance, proud of themselves, proud of our, our gym, proud of our family. Um, I want them to feel the love. I want it just to be radiating throughout the room. I, I just, I want them to feel excited. Like I can't even think of so many different emotions that I want them to feel at that one time, but proud would be the, the best word. Well, I can't wait to see what they bring to the mat, and I'm anxious to see those changes, and I know you're keeping them quiet for now, but we're all excited. Adrian, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. Thank you so much for having me.